like to share his prayers and care bears. Go down there. I had to. I got spit in my mouth. I had to swallow it. Jesus, gross. Um, <laughs> I'll use that for a blooper. Yeah. Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. You know what time it is. It's new Transformer Day. Yeah, I got y'all a new Transformer review. But before that, as always, do me a big favor. Go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel. I really appreciate that. Hit that little bell. It notifies new content. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. You know what's in the description. It's so easy peasy. It's so lemon squeezy. And as always, I have shirts, shirts, shirts for sale. There's three down there in the description. They're on Teespring. I really like them. I hope you like them too. Go check them out for me. All right, T-shirts for sale. All right, so today I bring to you the Transformers Dwarf Cybertron Trilogy Siege. This is the Deluxe Class Hot Shot from Generation Selects. All right, not much. You've seen these boxes. Easy peasy. Let's go and see what we're working with in here. All right. Oh, I love slicing and dicing this thing. Ooh. Feels so good. Feels so good. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Smells like fresh plastic to me. All right, let me get this fella out of his box. I'll be right back. All right, got him out of the box. I don't know if y'all want to see the inside. Y'all have already seen these so many times. Got the honeycomb effect thing and everything. It's really cool. Got some Cybertronian writing and all that stuff, but all right. All right, folks, instructions. They're important. They always come with them. I hope so. All right. Very nice. So this is a, this is a little wobbly. I may have to put some uh, fingernail polish on that guy. Um, this is a retool and a recolor of the Siege Hound. And not bad. I got some battle damage and everything. Got some cosmic goop on him. All right. Well, let me take a look at this fellow a little bit, get to know him a little better. All that wonderful stuff, and I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think of him. I think I'm going to transform him too. Yeah, why not? All right, here is Hot Shot in his alt mode. And as always, let's take a look at the accessories, which is his weapons. So he comes with his shoulder cannon, little thing, or projector kind of thing, for whatever you want to do it, missile launcher. Kind of a very nice paint. We've got silver right here. This kind of a red, it's kind of a pink, you know, touch to it, a little pinkish to it. It's not a deep red, but it's kind of, kind of like, you know, a salmon kind of feel to it. But very nice paint job on there. Comes with the rifle, same uh, kind of a pinkish red right there and silver right there for the tip and everything. Very nice. And he comes with a uh, canister, holds uh, bullets or something. So very nice silver and yellow right there. So you can either store it right here. You can have it like that. Or you can store it on the side. A little dent right there and you put it in the hole right there and he's got a canister to hold his weapons or hold his bullets and everything so very nice very nice on the weapons so here is hot shot this is from the cybertron uh the defense defense hot shot is what they did what they called him so very nice you can roll really good so i'll take a look real quick it's just a hound retool and recolor a lot of blue going on in here so if he's going to be camouflaged out in the you know war zone he's not doing a good job but there's silver some yellow paint silver silver right there very nice got silver right there for the headlights very nice got some battle damage some gook some planet gook whatever our space mud right here nothing really is to say i wish they would have painted the rims maybe silver that would have been pretty cool and you got that battle damage right there up here with the black and everything a lot of blue. I kind of wish they would have put some black up in this right here. I know Hound is all black up there too. So they didn't really do anything to this. But it would have been nice. I mean there's some silver right back in there. Inside. And then you got the inside right there. There's translucent uh, plastic right there. The little white translucent right there. But you don't, you know, there's nothing behind it. <laughs> it's all blue. I mean there is something behind it. But it's blocking the view. So very nice the detail in there. Then you got some nice silver. Some space mud back here. Very nice. Right there. Underneath, you can see his head. You can turn it around if you want to. His hands and arms are exposed underneath. Not too terrible. Like I said, very nicely rolls. 
nice Autobot symbol right there. You yeah, can see that. Sorry about the glare. And it's got kind of a swirly kind of plastic to the blue right there. So, all right, very nice little Jeep mode for his alt mode and everything. And there is a, a Siege Hot Shot. Real quick, here he is with the Siege Hound. You can tell the difference right here in the front and this right there. there in the back then they changed the you know the plastic they gave at least a green plastic right there for the rims it's all black which is fine I like it it's all right so there is a comparison real quick for siege hound oh I forgot to point out there are tons of ports where you can put weapons and you can add on battle masters and everything you got one right here 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 on the side on right here over here right here so there's tons of playability factor if you want to put, you know, wherever you want to put these things at. You have the ability to do that. And that is awesome. I love the playability factor for uh, Siege. So, so there is the storage uh, for weapons and for Hot Shot. Alright, quick comparisons for scale. This is a Siege Sideswipe. Throw in the uh, Beast Masters, or Beast Hunters, golly. Beast Hunters Bumblebee. Oh, and track from the uh, generations or uh, classics, and we'll throw in. Oh, and there's a uh, Iron Factory, and then you got the uh, Legends Wheelie from uh, Time Returns. And there's Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some toilet paper. All right, back from transformation, and here is Hot Spot. And as you can tell, he can hold his weapons just fine, holding either hand. And like I said, there are ports up here, there. Tons of ports. There's another port right there. So you can add on to him as much as you want to, you know, just to get silly. And you can go up here too, and he's got two si slots up here. So they can go on each other's side, whichever way you want it to. It's your transformer. You can do whatever you want. All right. So let's take a look at Hot Shot. Here is the head sculpt. Beautiful head sculpt. Mine's a little loose. I may have to, I think it's on a ball joint. It may not be. I don't know. Let's see. But, anyways. There it is. It's got some nice yellow paint for the head crest. Uh, the black is kind of coming in through a little bit. Uh, yellow is kind of hard to go on black. So, But silver, very nice, and some uh, nice uh, blue eyes. So very nice. So he can go side to side. He can look down a little bit. Not much up, and, and not much little attitude either or anything. There's a nice uh, Autobot symbol. Moving on down to the front of the Jeep when you already saw that. So very nice silver, yellow, all that good stuff. So you can go up to there, all the way around. He does have a bicep swivel. Uh, he does have a backwards butterfly. I thought, you know, this was supposed to, you know, kind of catch on to maybe clip in a little better. So it just kind of runs feel freely. But you still got a backwards butterfly if you want to do some dynamic poses. 90 degrees on the elbow bend. And he does have a twist in the hand. So very nice. So he does have a waist swivel coming on down. He's got nice red paint right here, that kind of that reddish pink. Nice yellow crotch area. Very good. Van down. Go up, uh, back, and you got the nice thigh swivel. Uh, there are some uh, waffles here in his arms and his uh, inner thighs. So bring the syrup if you want to. He's got some nice uh, battle damage, the, you know, the cosmic goop all over there. Nice uh, 90 degrees. Uh, nothing toe tilt up or down, but he does have a nice rocker. And cleans up pretty good. You know, a little backpack, not much, but I've seen a lot worse. It looks pretty good. All right, well, there is Generation Select's Hot Shot. All right, quick comparisons with the Siege Hound side by side. All right, there's some Voyagers, some Deluxes, and Legends from other lines for comparisons. All right, Leader Class, some Voyagers, Deluxes, Battlemasters, and Micromasters from the Siege line for size comparison.
All right, Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some toilet paper, and Squeaks doll. All right, my thoughts on the Generation Selects Hot Shot. This is from Cybertron. It was Defense Hot Shot. I wish I could have found my Hot Shot to do some comparisons with, uh, but I just couldn't find them in anything. But anyways, I love this mold. I love the uh, Hound mold. I think it's a really good one. Um, I think using this for Hot Shot was a perfect uh, you know, example of using it for this mold. I thought, wow, that's a really cool uh, thing to do. And I'm glad they're going into Cybertron stuff. I think it's really neat they're doing the Unicron trilogies and everything. Uh, so I uh, love alt mode. I love the Jeep mode. I think it's a really good mode. Um, I would actually leave it in that mode. To be honest uh, the only issues I have is there's a lot of blue in the back I wish they would have maybe put some more silver or black or something up on top to distinguish you know the details and everything it was just a lot of blue back there so but other than that I really love the alt mode transformation it's easy I love the way the leg transforms I think that's pretty cool uh, it folds around and everything does like a 180 or something like that so that's pretty cool uh, so transformation is really easy you shouldn't have an issue with that or anything bot mode is really good I love the sculpt uh, I think it's really nice I, like I said I think it's really good that they use this uh, Siege uh, Hound mode for the hot shot. Very nice paint. It's got some good paint on it. Really, it's got a lot, you know, I think it's about even with what uh, the Siege Hound has, but it, have, it might have a little more. But I love the yellow and the silver and the black and that kind of reddish pink, pinkish red kind of color going on, so very nice. Hard rail is really nice. I didn't think I was going to break anything. Um, the sculpt is really good. Articulation is pretty good. Um, other than the head being a little loose, um, you know, not very, doesn't have really a lot of uh, range of motion, just side to side, really, to be honest, and a little bit down. But other than that, articulation pretty good. You got the waist swivel, you got the nice rocker and everything, so you can get some, you know, you got the backwards butterfly. So you can get him some pretty good poses and everything. I like taking pictures of him. All right, well, that is my thoughts on him. I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me? Be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. All right, so what do y'all think about them starting to do the Unicron trilogies and everything? We're getting some of those, and you know, more than likely I know we'll get more and everything with that. I think, like I said, I love that they use this mold for the hot shot. I think it's a really good mold for this and everything. I'm kind of getting, I'm still sick. I got the sniffles, so I may, <laughs> snot may just bloop, bloop, like that. But anyways, but yeah, I, I really like this guy. I think it's a, it's a good mold, and I, I love the colors on it, and um, yeah, the fence. Hot shots. Cybertron, Cybertron. They got some good ones, man. I love them to redo like the Megatron and the Optimus Prime. Uh, we get, we are getting third party uh, Optimus Prime, uh, but I wouldn't mind to see, you know, Earth Wars or whatever to use some Cybertron modes or something. But then that would defeat the purpose of being Earth mode, wouldn't it? Earth Rise, whatever. <laughs> I'm just rambling. I, don't, I really don't know what else to say about this guy. About to get some waffles. Alright, get some syrup for the waffles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. What's up, Shark Cons? You want some of this? Yeah, let's get going. Now two. Two two two. Ah, two ah. Here I come to save the day. It's pooper scooper stars. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good job taking out the shark con and the pooper scooper. Heck yeah, chicken. Pound it. All right, all right, this is so cool. I got the uh, other one. I'll be doing a review of the other guy, the uh, Power Dasher, whatever I'll get, I got him too, so I'm gonna do a review of him real quick. All right, well go hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit me some comments, tell me what you thought of the review. Hope you liked it and everything. Hit that, uh, you know, notification bell. Tells you when I got new stuff coming out. And uh, hit that subscribe button too for me. Really helps out the channel and uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Generation Select review of a Siege figure or whatever. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro, and good night, folks. Yeah, I'm hot. I forgot what he sounded like. I don't know. Defense hot shot right here. Mm.